guys thanks for joining me today so today is my updated video on my waist training so officially now I have been waist training and um, I have some great footage that I want to show you I'm not going to make this video very long this video is basically going to talk about some results that I've had and I'm going to try to stick in a couple of questions that was asked of me um, and it, which I feel is really really important because it will help you determine what size to get which is the biggest issue so first let me just start by saying this is the waist trainer I am still using before I got this waist trainer I measured myself and that's the important thing that's one of the things I'm going to go into before we talk about anything really serious and before we talk about any results that I've had because I had some great results um, it's important to this is what I want to show you. This is a tape measure, guys. And I'm, please forgive me, I'm not trying to insult anyone. It is very, very important to measure yourself before you waist train. You don't look at me or look at someone else's size and assume that you measure out the same way that we do. Um, I had someone leave a comment on, on the last video and she assumed that because I said this waist trainer was a 2X, that I was a size 2X and I'm not a size 2X guys my size is either an extra large or a 1X depending on where I shop and how the garment is made I'm either an extra large or in 1X yet after I measured myself I measured myself like the website suggests I took my numbers back in on the on the site and it said my numbers measured up to a size 2X and that's the size that I got. So just because I say this is a size 2X doesn't mean that I wear a size 2X. So it's really, really important. Uh, another thing that I think a lot of women who aren't buying the corsets in the right size is because I think we get, we get afraid of the number. You know, if it's a larger size, if, it, if we think it's saying that we're a bigger size than we are, we, we tend to maybe size down. Now I did, I did hear some people say, oh, for the best results, you want to go down a size. I'm telling you, don't size down. Don't squeeze your body into these waist trainers. Don't do it. It's not worth it. You probably have a good chance of causing injuries to your organs. Um, to, anything could happen. You can overheat. You can uh, hurt your skin, have bruises and abrasions on the outer part of your body where the trainer is. You don't want to do that. You want to just, if you want to do it, you want to do it safely because believe me, you know you do. Because I do. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. A while ago, which I meant to mention in the last video, but it slipped my mind, I was asked to waist train uh, about a year ago. And I was sent a waist trainer, really good one, but it was a size large. And the company that sent it to me says, oh, don't worry, stretch it around your body. You, if you want to see great results, go down a size. Guys, when I saw how small that garment was, I never put it near my body because I knew I wasn't going to squeeze myself into it. And I'm telling you, you don't have to do that either. If you have to get a waist trainer that says a size 2X or size 3X, if you're going to be comfortable in it, you're going to feel a slight compression on the body, but you, you shouldn't be so uncomfortable but that you can't breathe. Or it shouldn't be so tight that the bony is leaving marks on your body. If it's that tight, then you're probably causing yourself some, some sort of injury. But you, def, you wouldn't wear shoes that were too tight, so don't let your waist trainer be tight. Um, I'm going to really quickly just go into some of the video footage that I have of some of my results and I'm going to explain to you what kind of results that I saw on my body. So I'm going to let you see that footage right now. It's before and after video footage. Okay guys, before I get started, I just wanted to show you that I am not wearing the waist trainer here. Um, yeah, just want to give you a little peek just to show you what I look like without the waist trainer. and. I am so amazed at my results. It's just, I'm just amazed. It's just unbelievable to me. The Wearing the waist trainer this past month, maybe like five weeks, has reduced my stomach a great deal. My stomach is flatter. It's also reduced the back portion of um, my back area where the waist trainer is at. It reduced that a lot. 
Um, it's, I'm just, I'm just amazed and it was easy and I didn't have to, you know, work really hard at it. I didn't have to dread wearing the waist trainer. Now guys, right here in this portion of the video, I am wearing my waist trainer, but the amazing part is that there isn't much of a visible difference between my body here and when I'm not wearing the trainer. So that was really, really exciting. So I just want to just turn a little bit so that you can see. Um, my, how flat my stomach is and how curvy it looks while I have on the trainer. Here it is. I have it on. I just wanted to show you the difference without me wearing it and with me wearing it. And guys, check it out. It's a little too big on that first row. <laughs> it's too big. So I will be graduating to the second row. Uh, and I won't do that. I won't do that this month. I'll definitely do that for August. Um, so I'll continue to wear it. I'll continue to wear it on the first row. And then the first day of August, I'm going to go to the second row. It's kind of easier for me to keep up with um, my progression that way. And, um, yeah. So it's coming along really nicely. Okay, guys. So, I mean, I really... It's just really exciting to see my body. I'm going to be honest with you. It's not really forming into an hourglass, but I do see a reduction in the, my body weight. My, it's really reducing. Um, when, I, when I wear this, it's helping me to lose weight. So I'm just losing weight. I see the biggest change, I would say, right in the area where I wear the vest. And um, so that's really exciting. Um, I really want to, guys, I want to be able to wear this during the day. I said that in my last video. I want to wear a, a vest or a trainer to work. And so I did purchase one. Um, let me just show you very quickly. I purchased it from Amazon.com where I buy a lot of things. <laughs> and this is what it looks like. Okay, so here it is right here. Let me just hold it up. This is the vest. That's the vest. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to wear this during the daytime, like to work, if it was possible, without being uncomfortable, because everything is like a test with me. But what happened is this, it's been so hot in New York City that I, I haven't worn this to work. It's just much too hot to wear this to work. And on my job, the air conditioning isn't working as well as I'd like it to if I was going to wear anything with this much latex and compression onto it. So I'm, I'll probably start using this when the weather gets cooler. And I think that's going to be the safest for me. Um, this is really aggressive. When I mean aggressive, it, you have to really put this on, stretch this onto your body. This doesn't really give that well, um, just like the um, blue one. When I say it's aggressive, it's not loose, it's not flimsy. You're going to get good compression. I still, as you can see, it's in good shape. I tried this one on. This fits good. This fits good, but it's too hot to wear this, so I will not be wearing this as long as the weather is warm. Uh, I'll, I'd rather wait till the weather is cool and just do it as safely as I'm doing the waist trainer. The most important thing that I could say to you about waist training is that you have to do it safely if you want to see, if you want to have some of the best results. Don't get your waist trainer so small that it's not comfortable. If you are interested in waist training, make sure you measure yourself. I think that's probably the most important thing that you can do. Don't get your waist trainer too small. It's not going to be comfortable. Don't squeeze. If you find yourself that you bought a waist trainer and you're squeezing into it, if you can, return it and get a bigger size. Don't squeeze into your waist trainer. Don't push your body, stomach around, your body fat around just to get into it. I'm not doing that. I don't want you to do that. Uh, we're going to try to do this safely and um, have fun doing it and not feel uncomfortable and not feel bad about how we look because that's this is not what this is about. This is about you know, having fun waist training and trying to get a, a shapelier waist. My my waistline is an hourglass. It's, it's just not. And I don't know if it's going to be that way. But what I am happy about is that I am reducing 
the size of my body, my midsection. I have to say, if I had to talk about the parts of my body I need to work on the most is my midsection. And so, and that's, I feel like that's what I'm doing and I feel so great about it. Um, yeah, guys, that's it. I just wanted to tell you, let's do this. If we're going to do it, let's do it safely. If I could shed some information um, on anything for you that, that will help you do it safely, please just let me know. If I haven't mentioned anything that you want more um, info on, let me know what it is. I'll answer the questions for you. I hope that you're as pleased with my results as I am. I'm going to continue to uh, waist train, and I will definitely let you know when it's time for me to wear the vest, and I will show you what I look like in that. And um, I'm really excited. I hope you're excited. If you're waist training with me, let me know if you want to start. If you have any questions about anything, just let me know and I'll get back to you. Okay, guys? Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it, guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. And thumbs up this video if you found it helpful. Take care, guys. Be well, and I'll see you at the next video.